My faceless Instagram accounts have generated over $500,000 in passive income. I started building Instagram accounts two years ago knowing almost nothing and now have turned this into a profitable business that almost runs entirely on autopilot. If you follow the blueprint that I share with you today, there's no question in my mind that you'll have similar results and profits if you start today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Step one. Start an Instagram account about something you're passionate about. You're gonna be spending a lot of time making content around this topic, so it needs to be something that you're actually interested in. If not, you'll probably start to go crazy and lose motivation. I've grown successful accounts in the travel, sports, health, and fitness niches, so you can really find an audience for almost anything these days. Step two, download the softwares you'll need to run this account. You're gonna need a video editor for reels and a simple design studio to create posts. If you're a student, you can get the Adobe Creative Cloud for under $15 per month. This includes Adobe Premiere Pro and gives you access to Photoshop and Illustrator. But if you're looking for the easiest budget options, then CapCut is great for video editing and Canva is great for creating designs. In fact, I personally just used Canva to grow my first ever account to over 1.5 million followers. Step three we need to start making posts. But in order to do this effectively, we're gonna need to understand how the Instagram algorithm works today. If you wanna go viral and grow quickly, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret that might blow your mind. Likes don't matter anymore. Or at least they aren't what you should be targeting when you create your content. Instagram's algorithm actually places far more weight on these three things. Watch time, meaning how long somebody spends looking at your content. Saves, meaning how many times viewers click to save the content. And shares, meaning how many times viewers share the content to their story or send it to a friend. According to information I found online, the typical impression to time spent looking at a post on Instagram is between three and five seconds. That tells us that people don't usually stay for very long. For saves, it's about five saves for every 1,000 impressions. And for shares, it's about two shares for every 1,000 impressions. Think about that. The average Instagram post, someone looks at it for about three seconds, maybe five of every 1,000 people save it for later, and only two out of every 1,000 people share it to their story or send it to a friend. But if we look at some of my most viral posts, we can see that they all far exceeded what is considered normal, and in some cases actually 10 x them. But what does this mean to you? The reason I'm showing you all this is so while you create your clips and posts, you can try to take advantage of what works and get as much reach as possible. So with all that in mind, let's start creating some viral posts. First, I'm going to show you how to create some simple posts using Canva. For the sake of this example, let's say that your channel is all about motivation. We can come into Canva and create a post like this. The first slide is bold and gets the viewer to really stop and look. We actually have a name for this. We call it the hook. This first slide contrasts well, gets someone to stop, and sparks a level of intrigue so they want to find out more. Next, we can come into ChatGPT and ask it to give us seven motivational quotes about success. The cool thing is, with ChatGPT, you can get super specific with this. Like if your page is all about sports, we can ask it to give us quotes by famous athletes or even by a specific person. So once you have what you're looking for, you can copy and paste them over into your Canvas slides. If you wanna go the extra mile, you can brand it with cool colors and relatable graphics. Posts like these go viral all the time, so you should see a lot of success. But that brings us to step four, which is creating viral reels. Since the rise of TikTok, Instagram has been pushing reels hard in order to compete. This has created a huge window of opportunity for people like you and me to grow an audience faster than ever before. Look at some of these reels going crazy viral. This one has over 1.9 million likes and over 12 million total plays. But the crazy part is their account was started less than a month ago and only has nine total posts. That's already netted them over 70,000 followers. This isn't an anomaly though. So many new accounts are blowing up on Instagram right now. Look, this account only has 42 posts and over 1.1 million followers. They started their account less than 90 days ago. I even decided to test this out on my own accounts and was able to get over 3 million views on a single silly meme video. Here are the stats for that video after about two months of being posted. So now let me show you how to create some simple viral videos like these. Again, we can come to ChatGPT and ask it provide some simple motivational quotes. Remember, you'll wanna find a quote that has a strong hook. Once you find one you like, we need to create a voiceover for it. Now, you can record yourself if you want, but you can also use a text-to-speech AI to do this for you, especially if you wanna to try to get a voice that matches what's being said. For this, we will come into Eleven Labs, which is by far the best AI voice generator on the market right now. You can clone voices or generate your own, and you can play around with the stability and pitch to get it exactly how you want it to sound. Here's how our example sounds for now. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. 
Next, we need to animate this so it looks nice. We can add a cool background that is related to the quote or has a similar vibe, but in order to not copyright anyone else's art, we need to come to Midjourney. Now, Midjourney is paid, but you can also use Stable Diffusion or Leonardo, which are also free AI photo generators. Since our quote has three main sections, I'll ask Midjourney to create three photos for us to use. We're gonna ask it for a Renaissance style painting of ancient Greek philosophers, happiness, and someone thinking. Once we're happy with our AI images, we can drag them over to our video editing software. Today, I'll use CapCut because there's a free version and it's really accessible. You can drag your images in and match them to the audio. And finally, we wanna create auto captions by clicking here. Remember, for the hook, you want it to ignite as much interest as possible. Now, this is just one style of what's currently working well for viral content, but in future videos, I'll be walking you through how to make even more engaging reels, so make sure to subscribe to see more. Step five, now that you've created your content, it's time to start sharing. But before you click share, here's a quick checklist to run through and understand how viral this content will be. Just ask yourself these questions. Will people stop and look at this for a few seconds? Will people wanna share this to their story or send it to a friend? Will people wanna comment and give their opinion on it? Will people want to save this for later to come back to? And does this content provide value and substance? If you can answer yes to all of these, then you have a viral post. Make sure to take a screenshot of that or come back to this part of the video because this is literally my golden formula for Instagram growth hacking. I promise it works. Okay, so back to step five, we can start posting. A good rule of thumb is to post once a day. You definitely don't wanna drown your audience with content, but you don't wanna become irrelevant either. If you try to post too much, you might burn out your audience. So my recommendation is to always focus on quality instead of quantity. Step six, repeat what is working. For example, I noticed that my audience responded really well to slide posts, so I started doubling down on them and it worked super well. Instagram gives you access to insights like reach, where your traffic is coming from, and how many likes, shares, and saves you're getting. The biggest winners on Instagram are the people who study these insights and apply what is working towards their future content. Step seven, monetize your account. All the work we've done in the previous six steps means pretty much nothing if we don't find a way to make actual money. And this is where a lot of creators really struggle, but I'm telling you, it's doable. I've been able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars from Instagram accounts. I've actually found several creative ways we can do this, and I'll be going over all of them in future videos, so make sure you're subscribed. But for today, we're gonna focus Focus on advertisements. Companies pay big bucks to target people online who are interested in searching for their products. So of course companies would be happy to pay thousands of dollars to be in front of a niche audience like yours. I'll show you how to make this a reality. Let's just say that your account focuses on investing like these do. They could make a fortune by advertising for day trading companies or finance apps like Robinhood. Most of these companies don't even know that these creators exist. So you need to actually reach out to them. Here's how you can reach out to them directly and set up an advertising deal where you make thousands of dollars. Go to their company LinkedIn and search for social media under people. Then go ahead and add them and send them a message like this. Hey Anna, I run the page at finance tips 101 on Instagram. We've built a very engaged audience of over 100,000 followers who are interested in all things personal finance. I'm currently filling out ad slips for the month of June and was curious if Robinhood would be interested in our exposure. Let me know, thanks. This message is friendly, to the point, and shows you know what you're talking about. You can also attach a media kit that has your insights on there for her to look at. Once she responds, you can begin negotiating. The most I've ever been paid for a single post was $5,000. I'm not saying this to brag, I just want you to know that there are some big bucks in this. So look, the final step in this blueprint comes down to you. Instagram is a marathon, not a sprint. And even though you might be excited and wanna sprint the entire marathon and make the best five posts of all time, I'd actually encourage you to focus on being consistent. Strive to show up and post something every day that's better than the last. Most people just give up and aren't able to stay consistent with it. Don't worry about being the best right away. If you focus on consistency, then it just becomes a battle of outlasting everyone else, which is a much more achievable goal. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for more like this in the future.